Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to put your face on the AI's pilot face within DCS. Today we're working specifically with DDS files. It's different than a PNG, than a GIF, than a TIFF, and a PNG. It's specific for gaming, I believe. Uh, so there are, as far as I know, there I'm sure there's more, but I know of two programs that actually open DDS files. Those programs are Photoshop with the appropriate DDS plugin as well as GIMP. GIMP is G-I-M-P. Uh, it, I believe, also needs to have the, have the appropriate um, needs to have the appropriate plugin. So you can find the one for Photoshop. It's called at the uh, uh, NVIDIA Texture Tool Exp Exporter. Here's the web page. I'll put a link in the details. So you're going to navigate down here. I'm going to use the Adobe Photoshop. I would hit the download. It's going to automatically put it in the plugin folder within Photoshop. So I'm not going to hit that because I already have it there. Uh, so there's no need for me to do it. But that's where you would get it. This is the web page. That needs to be downloaded. Once that's downloaded, next thing you need to do is uh, you need to get a frontal picture of your face. Make sure that you are looking directly into the camera, not off to the side. Uh, you can smile, you can not smile, it's however you want to do it. Just make sure that you're looking straight into the camera, that your lighting is pretty flat. You don't want to have shadows that are coming across your nose or across your eyes weird. Just try to get nice, even, even um, lighting across your picture. Okay, so now that you have Photoshop ready, you've got a good frontal picture of your face. Uh, now we need to find a file, or we need to find a skin or livery for the particular aircraft you're working with. In our case, we're working with the Apache. So I'm going to search for a Apache skin and hopefully I'll find one that has an image within the folder of the pilot's face. Not all the folders are gonna contain a image of the pilot's faces. So I've already uh, worked on this for a while and I know the one that I like is this particular one. So I'm just gonna navigate to it. It's this particular one. Now again, as I browse through the skins, all I see is just exterior shots. I have no idea whether this folder is gonna contain an image of the pilots. So I'm gonna download it. It's gonna end up in my download folder. Okay, now that it's uh, downloaded, I'm gonna, we need to unzip it because it's a zip file. It's gonna open up in my unzip program. This particular one that I'm using is called bzip. Now what you've gotta do is you've gotta put this folder into the livery folder of DCS. Now you find that in your, in my case, you have to go to your user file. Your user file. So in my case, it, I have it on the D, on the D drive. I'm going to open that. I'm going to work my way. Now here is the Eagle Dynamic original folder. You the the main folder. You don't want to mess with that one. You're going to go down to your user folder. You're going to go to your name. You're going to go to save games. You're going to go, in my case, I use DCS open beta still. I'm going to click it. And then these are all the folders within that uh, DCS open beta uh, structure. You're going to have to have a livery folder. If you don't have one, you have to make one. And it's simple. Just go to file, go to new folder, folder, and then you want to name it liveries. And you need to make sure that you spell it correctly and you spell it just like it is right here, capital L, and then everything else is lowercase. Now within that folder, you're going to drop that folder that you just received uh, from, you're going to download this one. Now in this case, this folder is the last folder or is the folder that contains the, all the actual files. Sometimes you'll download these from DCS and it'll be that the folder you're looking for is several folders down. It, it may have a mod, it may have an aircraft, it may have a livery folder and then it'll have this folder. So make sure that you navigate all the way down to the last folder. In this case, this is the one. So uh, we would make sure that uh, we put it in the correct folder within the DCS structure. And again, you have to navigate over to users uh, all the way down to your livery folder. Uh, I am in the livery folder now and I have all these skins already in here. So we are messing with, today we're working with the uh, AH64D, which is this particular one. So if I double click on it, 
it's going to open. Now, all these are the skins that I've downloaded. All of these, or I should say, the only one that contains an image that has a uh, pilot in it is this particular one here. So as I click it, now I've already opened these several times, so it's created a PS file, a Photoshop file. Many times you'll get it and you'll actually see the images like this, and you'll be able to see that uh, it's a pilot's face. Now I know that the one we're using is this one right here, the pilot detail. So I'm going to open that one. Now again, you have to make sure that you put these folders in the correct uh, structure and that you name them properly. Now I know that uh, DCS is looking into this particular file or into this particular folder because of the way it's structured. Uh, so here's my image here. Now the this is the actual, this is the co-pilot. I can tell because he's got blue eyes. The pilot in the back seat has brown eyes. So this is the one that we're going to manipulate. Now, if you wanted to put your friend's image, your girlfriend's image, you could put it here if you want it or vice versa. That's totally up to you. So now I'm going to go over and I'm going to open the image of me. I happen to know that. Uh, let's see. Let me go over and open image of me. This is the one that I want to use. So this is the one that I'm going to use. Now, what we have to do is we have to tell this image, we're going to over, is we're going to superimpose this image on top of that image, but we have to make sure that we're lining things up correctly. So we're going to move over. Let me minimize this. I need to mark this one up so that I know exactly where my marks are, where the eyes are, where the nose, where the lips are. So I'm going to zoom in. Now, again, this is Photoshop. So I'm going to use shortcuts, but I'm going to try to, I'll, I'll see if I can remember to tell you how I'm, where I'm getting, what I'm getting. So in this case, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the Z key, or you can come over here. This is my toolbar in Photoshop. So this is the zoom key. I'm going to zoom in right here so I get a nice tight shot of it. Now I want to move it around, so I'm going to just kind of do that. Now I need to put down some lines, some markers, so I can tell where all these things are at. Now, as you can see, his face is a little bit crooked. Uh, but that's not a, it's not, in this particular case, it's not an issue. Most of the time, they're pretty accurate. Now, in my case, you can see these numbers up here. That's a ruler. If you don't have that, you would find that, see how now I don't have it up here? You would go to View. You go down here to Rulers. You click it, and then there's your ruler. Now, you need the ruler to be present so that you can grab the lines. Now, you grab the lines by putting your cursor up here. On your mouse, hit the left button hold it and then pull down and you'll see there's that line. Now what I'm going to do with this line is I'm going to put one right about the center of the eyes. Now you can see that the eyes aren't aren't level. So I'm just going to fake it. That's about right. I'm going to do the same thing for the lips because I need to know where I'm going to line my lips up with his lips. That way the face fits within his face. My face fits within his face. I'm going to do the same thing over here for the the corner of this eye right about there same thing for this eye I'll put one right about there and then i need to put one right down the nose right down the middle of the nose so right about there i'm looking at the eyebrows more than anything because you can see his nose is a little bit off so that's what i'm looking for now i'm going to uh, my most important part is that my eyes are lined up here and that this is dead center and then my mouth is lined up right here as well Okay, so let me zoom out a little bit so we can see. Oops, so we can see that. And by zooming out, I go back to the Z key or that one. I hit the Alt key and it turns it into a minus. If I don't, it's a plus. I can zoom in. If I hit the Alt key, it makes it a minus so I can zoom out. So I'm going to do something like that. Now I'm going to open up my picture. Now I need to grab this and superimpose it there. Now, in order to move it, I'm going to hit my V as in Victor key. I can just grab it and move the whole thing over like that. Or... Let me undo that. You can undo things by hitting the control Z. There we go. Click that one. Now I can undo. There it goes. Now, all I need from this image, from my image, let me expand that. All I need is my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, use the uh, elliptical tool, and I'm just going to make a circle right about there. Right about like that. Now, to, I need to remove this image and put it over here. So I do that by... Now that it's selected and I'm on that layer, I hit the Alt, or I'm sorry, I hit the Control key, and you see how the cursor has the little scissor marks on it? You, and now you see how the cursor has the little scissors. I'm going to grab that with the mouse, and I'm just going to drag it over. 
Now that, now that I've got this image, I can get rid of this. I'm going to close that. So this is the image I'm going to manipulate now. So I'm going to go back to the V key because I want to move it. And as you can see, it's way too small. So I need to enlarge it. Uh, you can do that by hitting the Control T, which is the transform. If I come here to the edit, you'll see free transform. It is Control T. Now I do that, I get these little spots, these little corners, and I just need to expand it out so that my eyes line up with his eyes, where his eyes were, and then my corners are hitting that line. So I'm just going to keep enlarging it till I get it right about there. It's pretty close. I'm pretty close right in here, pretty close right in there. The nose is a little bit off. Let me bump it. So that's pretty centered down the middle of my nose. Now my mouth is way off. My mouth, my cor the corner of my mouth needs to be right on that line. So I'm going to accept these changes. Now I need to go to distort because I need to shrink that image now. So I'm going to go to uh, transform and then I'm going to go to distort and I'm going to grab it from the bottom and then I'm going to shrink it this way. Now I see how my face shrunk and my eyes moved. So I'm going to play with this a little bit. My, uh, let's see. So my eyes, my nose, my eyes are good. My lips are a little bit down too far still. So we're going to say right about there. What I'm looking for is right here and right there looks about right. Corner of my eye looks good there. That one looks good there too. That line is pretty much cutting through the center of my eyes. I can tweak it down just a bit. Now you see how it jumps. It wants to snap. They call that snapping. You can use your arrows to fine tune it a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm um, liking that. That's pretty close. I'm going to live with that. Okay, so I'm going to hit the inner button to accept it. Now, as you can see, I have all this extra foot, all this extra uh, image around that. I need to remove all that. I need to get it down to where it's skin, where my skin is on his skin. So I'm going to make sure that I'm selected here. I'm going to hit the get the eraser tool, which is this guy. Or you can hit the E which is the eraser tool. And then I'm just going to, again, I'm going to make sure that I'm on my layer. This is me. I'm going to make sure that I'm on that one. And then I'm just going to remove all this here. Now there's different ways you can do it. You can remove them any way you want, but this is what works for me. I'm going to make that brush a little bit bigger. I went to this, this uh, brush is here. And then you see my brush is bigger. Let me make it bigger even, that's better. And then I'm going to just continue. Let me close that. I'm just going to continue to remove all this up here. Now I'm removing it by holding my left mouse button as I move the mouse. So I'm going to get all the way down to skin. I'm going to remove all those dark colors. All that needs to go away because I'm going to try to blend my skin with his skin. You can see our skin's a little bit different. So I'm going to do something like that. But now I don't want to remove too much because I'm going to need I'm going to come back and use my stamp tool. I'm going to need to have something there to copy. So we're going to leave it like that. Now I could simply save it like this and it would look fine in, in a DCS. You probably wouldn't notice it too much unless you zoomed in on the character. But I already know that I need it to be a little, I need to smooth in these edges out right here a little bit better. So I'm going to use the stamp tool. Stamp tool, you can click it there or you can hit the S key and that makes it a stamp. Now let me zoom in some. That's by doing the Z. So I'm going to hit the stamp tool. There's my stamp. Now I need to make that brush way bigger. So I'm liking that about that size. Now the stamp tool is going to take, it's going to take whatever image, whatever part of an image, I tell it it's going to copy it basically. So I want to, let's say that I'm going to work in here and I want to copy this color or this part of my skin and I want to put it over here. I'm going to hold my cursor where I want. I'm going to hit the Alt key and it's going to change the cursor. You see how it's got that little uh, bullseye. I'm going to say I want to copy this shade right there and I'm just going to stretch it out over here. Now I'm going to do that several times to kind of give me a little smoother, oops, smoother move to it. Now I don't have to go out too far. I just need to get past this a little bit so that I can get beyond the helmet. And you'll see what I mean. So we need to come out, oops, a little bit. And if you screw up, it's not a big deal. You can hit the, the control Z and it'll undo what you did. It'll undo your last few moves. If you hit control and 
uh, control and alt it'll do undo several of your moves so again I'm just gonna grab some oops some stuff here and there just need to extend it out a little bit now if I'm moving too fast for you I apologize but this doesn't have to be that accurate we just need to extend it beyond the the normal size of it for now and you'll see why once we get into DCS I'm just gonna keep doing that if I don't do this what will happen is when we get into DCS you'll see my skin and his skin you'll see where the overlap didn't really take effect very well so I'm just going to kind of blend in my skin a little bit and it doesn't have to go very far Oops, let's grab some from here. And again, it does not have to be perfect. We're just going to keep grabbing and moving and copying. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just copying some of that stuff. And I, can, I can't grab his because his is on a different layer. So I'm just going to kind of do this all the way around. And I'm okay with it, however it turns out down here, because again, it's not really going to matter too much because you're not going to see a lot of this. Oops. Okay, so I'm good with that. Um, so, as you see, let me zoom out. Now, this is what we have. It started like this. Now, it looks like this. So, everything is pretty much lined up where it needs to be. Now, I've got two layers, so I've got to compress that down to one layer. You do that by going to layers. Now you can do merge down. That's going in this case it'll work. You can do merge visible, which will work. I like to just go to flatten image. It's going to flatten all the different layers that are there. Okay, so now we're down to one layer. Now we can save as. The idea is that we want to save this one and we want it to override the one or overwrite the one that's already there. That way when it when DCS opens, it knows to go into this folder to grab this file that's already in the um, the uh, the coding, if you will. So we're not going to change the name. We're going to leave it like it is. We're going to make sure that the type of file is still a DDS. We're going to hit save. It's going to ask me, do I, it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I want to replace it. Here I'm going to hit save. Now that it's all done, do not do anything in Photoshop. Because if we have to go back in there and make changes, all I have to do is hit the control Z and it'll undo some of the things that we've already done. We don't have to go back and re download the new folder, the new file and all that stuff. So we're going to leave Photoshop like, uh, like it is, and we're going to open up DCS now. Now that we're in DCS, I'm going to open up a mission that contains the uh, Apache, or in your case, you can do it with the, the Huey, any any image that has a, or any folder, any li livery that has a folder that contains a pilot face, you can do this with. Now, obviously, if you're an F-18 or some other uh, aircraft that has a mask and a visor, you can still do it. You may not be able to see underneath it. I'm not sure that you can take off the mask or lift the visor on some of those. Maybe some of the new stuff coming out, you would be able to. Uh, but in this case, I'm not sure that you can. Obviously, the helicopters... And some of the older World War II planes, uh, those pilots don't have masks either. So you should be able to manipulate those files as well, as long as you can find a folder or a skin that contains the image of a pilot. All right, so we are going to open the Apache. Okay, so now that we're in the Apache, let's go take a look and see what we've done. Now, uh, as you can see, it's still loading. What I do is I go to F4, which is the camera that is mounted on the aircraft. I believe it's called mounted on, on aircraft, uh, something like that. It's the F4, so I hit the F4. It's gonna take me to that shot, and with my mouse, I can move it around, move the, turn the camera any way I want. Now, I wanna reposition the camera so that I can see inside the cockpit. You do that by using the W, the S, the A, and the D. W is up, S is down, A is to the left, D is to the right, and the Q is up, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, the Q is down and the E is up. Now, as you start moving these things around, I'm hitting the D key. I'm going to use the mouse to turn it so that I can kind of get right about here. Now, in order to smooth those moves out and to slow them down, you can use your page up to speed up or your page down to slow down. 
So I'm going to slow down my move because I want to come in here. But I don't want it to move too fast because it's really jerky. And then I'm going to move up. And I'm going to continue to move over to the right a bit. And there I am looking good so far. So there we are right about there. Let me zoom in. Let me get rid of the... Uh, there we go. And then I'm going to zoom in. Looking pretty darn good. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so the nose is always going to be screwed up. I've tried to work around that, and I really couldn't figure out how to fix it. I think it's just the way it is. Now, you can see that my skin right right before it gets to the, uh, the helmet is a little bit screwed up because that's the original skin that was there. And that's why I'm saying you can be really clean, or you can just leave it as is. It's really not that, that important. At this point right here, you can see that it's... Pretty darn accurate, pretty darn accurate. Now, if I come over this way, you can see my teeth are jacked up, but for some reason, that's just the way they are. Uh, anyway, I cracked myself up. But uh, like, it, you can, if you want to put tattoos on yourself, on your neck, on your arms, any of that stuff, you can. Anytime you can see skin, you can actually change all that stuff. All right, guys. So that is pretty much. Um, I think I've told you enough where you can get started. You can get in there and figure it out. If you want to make copies of these files before you go to change them, uh, alter them, you can do that. Just, uh, yeah, you can do that. I don't typically do that uh, because I, can, I know that I can undo in Photoshop. I can go in there and undo things. And if I really screw it up, I can always go back to uh, DCS and then download the original folder again or download the saved folder again from the, from the user folders, uh, user files. So I hope that uh, it was enough to get you started. If you have any questions, uh, if I left you kind of in the dark or left you somewhere because we kind of got in the weeds, uh, leave me a comment. I'll see if I can help you as much as I can. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all, all of your support. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a, a coffee, I have a link in there as well. Any donation is wonderful. I appreciate it tremendously. So go off, have a good day, and uh, get in there, mess with your graphics, and enjoy. 